Hi, how's it going folks? I'm Scott Stragan and welcome back. It's been a wee while since I've had a video up. I've had a wee break, I could think about what I was going to do for the next video. And yeah, a wee change to the, to the state channel as well. So yeah, if you've been enjoying my videos, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. We subscribe, it's most welcome, totally appreciated. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode and leave me a wee comment, let me know what you think. Right, as you can see, we are actually at character creation. I've had a wee mess about with this mod for the last week or so, just to get the basics and stuff so, so I can get started with it. It's really absolutely awesome. So, as you can see the names, Tumish Bay and Scott Zimla, we are on Lost Island. We've made a wee character up, uh, we've named them, and so we're going to go bang, there we go. We'll just get him spawned in. It'll just take a couple of wee seconds. Um, yeah, I do apologise for the wee delay in the videos, but... Yes, we've been doing a lot of work on the channel. A lot of new ventures coming up as well, so... Right, come on. There we go. It's just dragging its feet this morning. It's a wee bit like me, it's not woken up yet. Right. Okay, so let me just give you a rundown. We are on Lost Island. We are going to be using Omega Dinosaur. Omega. Art Omega, which is an absolute monster, monster mod, and the great thing is, it's single player compatible, which makes it even better. Right, so, if you are playing on single player and you are playing on the mod, you've got to do one important thing, and that is to prevent hibernation. You do that with your launch settings in Steam for the game. Also, make sure you also launch the game from the game part on a host of dedicated servers, uh, dedicated, non dedicated server, and just hit the wee lock button so it's a private match for yourself. Right, as you can, as you can see, we got the wee level there, but I'm trying to hear, I'm just adjusting my headset while I'm at it. Right, so I don't want this to be too loud. Right, there we go. Right, we've done our warm up now, so need to get this inventory sorted out before I even pick anything up. Create a create a refolder. You hear those funny noises already starting. So we're going to make a skins folder. We will make a keep folder as well, but at the moment we're just going to drop everything. We do have a whole list of mods on here, so we will go through them and basically, if I can remember them all, because there's just quite a few. Um, don't like that, it sounds like it's getting closer. Right, so, well we've got Arc Omega, we've got our awesome spyglass, awesome teleporters, um, no durability armor, no durability weapons and tools. We have tranks plus. Um, we have dino storage. Uh, HNG stack mod. Quite a large stack mod because there's a, a lot of farming to do in this. Which. I thought I had something there. Um, which is one of the great parts about this. As you see, we are pretty much on vanilla settings as well. There's no single bit player box ticked in the settings. So basically, it's just the wee bits of extra we've got are just from whatever we get uh, from sliders. So there's no extra single player stuff. Which does make it a wee bit even more grindy. So it's, it's a lot of fun, but. As I say, for the week, the week I was playing it for, uh, absolute fantastic. And the creatures, every single creature that's on the map, 
is converted to a modded. Well, apart from like the odd dodo, wikis and stuff like that. Um, so basically, the dinos and everything are all modded dinos. Where are you? You're just a male dodo. I think I'll get a couple of these because I will need some. I will need some uh, hide to make myself wee canoe. I do like the wee canoe um, rather than uh, the raft because it actually doesn't aggro the lead sick face as much. I don't think. Well, I've never managed to get it a, a basically hound me. So in this mod, you get a, a thing called a newbie buff. Basically, it's a, sh a protection, a protection shield to keep you safe, keep you sound for uh, I don't know, what's that? Ten, two, five, three. I don't know if that's ten minutes or so. I think so. Yeah, maybe. But it keeps you safe and sound. Also, oh, let's start with a spyglass. And this thing here is a primitive gathering tool. It just looks like a metal hatchet. A primitive gathering sickle. These are great tools, especially for starting with. Uh, is there anything else here? No, 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 no. Right, so as you see, we've got, we've got quite a bit of junk here. We don't actually need all this stuff at the moment. So we're just going to sling what we don't need. And we'll put the majors in a hot bar. Throw what we don't need to try and keep the weight down a bit. Even though we've got a stack mod on. We want to try and keep our inventory quite tidy. Right, so we're going to go for some a wee bit of health to begin with. Um, I will be putting some movement speed on. Not at this precise moment in time. Uh, food and water, we will be increasing at a later date. And so we can basically survive a wee bit better, a wee bit more easier, easily. Right, so crafting, we're going to go into no, no durability. Or no durability stuff. So, basically what we're wanting, we're wanting a spear. We haven't got a bit shit. We've got enough to get a cloth shirt, trousers, and a hat. It's basically, it's the same materials as you need to make the normal stuff, except it's just no durability. Which, they've got all, basically, the armors in as well, so... You can get, like, no durability take armor rank as well, so... But that's later, later, later game. Um, but we'll stick with the cloth stuff in there until we can upgrade a wee bit. Right, so this wee magic tool here. There we go, we click the B mouse wheel and it becomes a pick. So we've got an axe, we're stone, change it over, we've got a pick and it gathers pretty well and it's fully upgradable as well. We do have the upgrade bench on as well. Never leave home without it. So we've got that, uh, say there are some teleporters or some spyglass and a few other bits and pieces. Um, whenever we go through them we will, we will basically run over them um, once we get to that sort of point. Right, so we want no durability again and we want these spears. There is a wee bug with these spears. You think you're making one, it gives you 10,000. <laughs> so that is a wee bug. Um, basically it's handy for breaking them down once you get uh, an upgrade brain shop to give you fibre, uh, wood and... Uh, can't remember what else it is to make them. But we'll just hang on to them to do. So we want some of these dodos. Don't leave the way that sun's coming down. Right, so we're on male dodo, they are reusable. Oh, there we go, we've got the invisible spear again. So we'll just jab him in the to sort this. I don't know why it disappears, because once it 
once it uh, gets upgraded, where did my dodo go? There. Once it gets upgraded, it doesn't do that. Um, it still keeps refilling. So look at this guy. That's a female siren trike 120. Our max level dinos, I meant to say, is 150s. So we are playing. It is a. It's basically a. Ah, a vanilla mod. It's based off of the vanilla mod setting, so that's how you want to try and keep your stuff as vanilla -ish as possible. Uh, what we got here, male dodo. There we go. I keep hitting the ring buttons as well. So we just want as much of the side as possible. I'll get started so we can get a canoe and we're going to go and hide over on Castaway Island. Um, because there is a lot of the nasties and yeah I don't want to be spending my time sorting my inventory there's something over there that's invisible is it we'll, we'll see where we go mine is once I get back to the awesome spy glass it'll be a lot better because what we got a male miracle tech parasol Okay. Yep, I'm still trying to figure out what half of these are. <laughs> As I said, I played it for a week and oh, I still didn't even cover half of the, not tame half of the dinos. So, one of the big things is, this is the farm inside, it's a really, really crucial part. It's got the same sort of theme as what Primal Fear and Arc Eternal has. Um, but this, this is actually, it's actually really good the way they've done it. Um, I've tried Primal Fear before and Archidermal, but they never, they never worked right for us because I wasn't on the server. They even may prevent hibernation. Uh, I tend to find it just kept on crashing on me for some reason. So, but this, I've been having absolute fun with. 145, catch. Because we've got different tools on. I keep hitting the hang buttons for the different tools. Right. So we're going to get some more. More stone. I think it's a wee bit more metal as well. To get it started with so we can get this canoe on the go. Um, because we want to get somewhere safe or safe-ish. All the nasty things that usually go for you, they're all now modded, so dillos and everything, they're all modded. I think at one point it was, what, 36, 36,000 tameable creatures on the map, and the majority of them are all modded, and, or I should say 90% of them. Modded. Oh, I'm overcome word. Uh, so yeah, it's really, really, really good. All different types of dinos, different categories of dinos for different jobs as well. Oh, so we we'll wrapped up. Uh, we don't want to upset. Well, we don't know what he is. What is he? Where are you? Where are you? Where'd he go? Look at that, he's off that shot. I don't know where that went. Whoa! Spiritual! <laughs> yeah, some, di some of the dinos move extremely fast and it is hard to track them that's where the awesome spyglass comes in handy with. Right, so what have we got? We're level 19, let's try and get our, our canoe ready to go. Right, there we go, we can make one. Perfect. And there we have, we've got dodo cages, well, that's just normal cages, we've got dodo cages and stuff. And we'll, we'll show them as well. 
basically we want to get our base up and running first um, before we go heavy into farming for the dinos but we do need dinos which means we do need kibble and because you can only tame the dinos with kibble unless it's the vanilla dinos so there is a lot to take in um, I was actually puzzled for ages there and there we go that's us, we're on our way just got to be careful um, yeah, I tend to like these, you know it's handy, it's, and plus you can pick them back up even fish, you've got to watch out for fish because the fish are muddied <laughs> so you can get some really ferocious fish um, right, let me see what we've got there and we've got storage in our canoe as well so we're just going to keep going with that we need a bit more fortitude um, yeah, we do have a wee bit quicker taming. Um, a wee bit quicker taming. I think we're at 10, but you've got to remember we don't have the single player ticks, so our taming is a wee bit slower and longer. So, we've got that, we've got our breeding setting sorted out. I didn't actually get a chance to use them, so it'll be a wee bit of an experiment when it comes to breeding, if we do, if we manage to do any breeding. Um, we do have, what else we got? We've got a, a new pickup mod thing, not for dinos, well we've got a dino pickup mod. We've got an item and loot pickup thing, so you just need to fly, fly up to the loot drops before they even hit the ground, and you can pick them up, so you don't have to wait till for them to hit the ground. Also, like bags on the, on the ground, you can just run past them and hit G and you pick them up, which is really handy, even when you're on Thames. So we do have quite a lot of mods, and a lot of them are really fun to use. It's I'm hoping we're, we're going to get some of the event colours in, because I'm sure the, the Halloween event has not no started. So I thought we might have got some of the Halloween colours in, but some of these dinos are actually pretty colourful anyway. They're absolutely, absolutely nice looking in that. And it's good to actually keep their colours and stuff sometimes, because you can distinct what they are pretty quickly. I can't remember what was what was it said in the mod, was it uh, 30 odd thousand variations of dinos? So yeah, I think there's 40 tiers of bosses and oh there's a wee, there's a mini parasaur. And you get bigger ones than that as well. <laughs> you get Colossus, you get, uh, that's a, that'll be classed as a pygmy. So yeah, there's absolute loads. Just as we're coming along the beach here, you can see the compies and everything, and you do get some nasty ones um, that, that will chase you forever. <laughs> some turtles up there dancing. Right, so yeah, we're going to hide out in our castaway island, castaway cave, to begin with. Um, We've got no durability on our base as well because we, we are going to want to do something a bit more fancy, a bit more, something a bit more special. Um, a bit, I, I worked on one. It turned out really, really good. Um, problem where it was, it takes a lot of resources. Um, so, but. For me to farm up the resources, it does take quite a while. Um, on. So, once we get over here, we'll be able to get our crystal, we've got a resection of metal, we've got our stone, wood fiber, we've got our sickle for berries. So, basically, we can. Oh, 
try and get maybe something. We'll go into the cave first. I'll get some torches put down because it is very dark in there. So I'll get some torches put down so we'll get some light and then I'll put a door frame up and stuff so nothing can run in or ickies. There's lots of seagulls about and peggles and stuff and everybody knows they just steal off you. I actually had one steal, stole a load of my taming helper. That's another thing I've got on. I've got a taming helper on. Um, just to help with the, the taming of the dinos. Yeah. So, we will be doing a lot of taming and a lot of building through the series. Um, I think it's going to be quite a long series this one. But it's going to be a good series. Um, I will try and do my best to go over all the bits and pieces. <laughs> I'm still learning a lot of the stuff myself, so yeah, we're going to be. It's going to be fun. Like I said the week I had with it, um, when I was just testing it out to see how it was and that, and oh, it was awesome. Brilliant. Some of the resources are a wee bit trickier to get. Even trilobites are modded, so you can't exactly like farm well trilobites up and that because a lot of them are all modded. You hit the wrong trilobite and it will slaughter you. Um, so yeah, I get killed by a lot of dodos and a lot of trilobites and different things. So I'm just going to part this up facing in slightly because if not, it just drifts away. Yeah, I'll do. Right, we'll get out of here. Right. I should grab some. Oh, we got fiber, didn't we? Right. So I do like this wee cave. It is, I do apologize, it is going to get a wee bit. Well, oh, no, wait a minute. Let me see. We'll go for a. I know, durability torch. There we are. Um, we've got our shoes and our gloves now. And we can upgrade all this stuff as well before we could have uh, it tied. We'll stick with the cloth first. Right. So, six, we'll just get in. And we'll get some torches put in first. Inventory, crafting. Because we are going to hide in here like proper wee castaways. It's a scary old world out there. Um, right, so I've got my torch up. We'll just try and keep these out the road a bit so we can still. So we can still put some bits and pieces down. But still get the maximum light from these. And I'll get the settings and these done in a very second. Right, so we just got to them. Uh, change settings, intensity, we'll turn that up a bit. Oh, update done. Oh. And that'll save me having to run about with my torch on another thing. This is going to be our bee hidey hole for the time being. Just until we get in, get the base all sorted and stuff. So we've got four walls in a roof over us at least. Right. If I do that now, that's alright, we can see a bit. So we want some crystal and we want to change over on the air or some spyglass. Right, we'll leave the rest of that crystal there because that's handy. Inventory, uh, crafting, uh, where is it, where is it, there it is there, there's some spyglass, there we go, mm -hmm. we've got 
more farmers should I just get my jelly all right okay so let's see the money now we go right okay we'll throw it in um, craft some object some foundations in there just to get us started so we can get basically a bed and stuff down. If we can get a bed down then that'll, then that'll be that'll be pretty perfect. Gives us a wee bit of security, a wee bit more uh, protection. We are using S plus also with uh, no foundations required again. I do actually like building with that now. Uh, the PC because the variety of areas you can actually build sort of safer areas so we will be all doing that for the base which is pretty cool it's great what you can do with them right I'm looking for something here and I can't think of what it is there it is wood we want two three four five six Six will go fine with that. We got door frame. One of them, one of them. And then two of them. And actually that'll just let us block off this front door. So it'll keep us a bit safer in their fortitude. Right. See we can plant foundations up there and everything, but we don't need to do that. We just want to keep ourselves a wee bit safer in here. thing flying by there. It's an oil jerk bug thing. Yeah, so we don't want them flying in. There we go. That'll keep us safe now. Because we've got no durability, means our foundations and that can't be destroyed. Which, which is handy. Crafting one on upgrade. There we go. And then from that we want beds. One bed. And that's as at least we've got a spawn point now. Um, we do have the corpse recovery and things like that. Uh, the personalized gravestone. Wee bits and pieces. Um, we will run through some of the categories and stuff, and uh, we'll just get that stuff put down first. So basically, we've made it to where we wanted to be, actually. We wanted to get up here. Up here so we could get something like Sora. It's sort really started. Um, but, one doesn't harvest it. No, 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 
Inventory. We've got a wee bed down. That's us sorted there. And we can just throw... I'll, so I'll show you what I mean about these spears. They're absolutely nuts. Right, so I'll keep one there. There's nine, 999 there. So if I salvage it, that's me getting my fight. My, my fight burn my brain for the rest of my life. Um, salvage. I just think that, that spike lasted. So we've got an awesome one. We've got plenty of crystal now. We bat metal. We've got some food. We will. I'm just checking my food status. Yeah, we're right there. Um, right, so. I do have a dino tracker thing on as well. Uh, which I'll just run through some wee bits and pieces of what we're going to be using and what we're going to be doing really. Right, so up here if we hit this, this tells you every single creature pretty much that's on the map. Basilis, Wheels with Foo, everything. Absolutely everything. And Right, so if we pick a creature, right, so we'll go with, we'll go with uh, an archie. Right, so if we just click that, we can type specific variations of archie up there if we wanted to. But we can just bring this list up. You can use gender as well if you look for specific females, which we'll be using a lot because we will be looking for females. An ultimate phoenix RG. 150 rampage RG 150. Right, so before we can get these, we've got to be able to make ultimate kibble. These ones here, rampage, these tame on normal, they're uh, basically basic kibble. You can make the basic kibble from dodo eggs. This is where the dodo cage comes in quite handy. Uh, prime. Obviously in its name, it's a prime dino, so you need prime kibble for it, and then you need the specific, the necromancer, um, it's in an R subcategory. So, just having a flick through there, Omega, Omega's your last basically, anyway. So there's absolutely tons and tons of creatures to tame, and I'm going to make try and make sure I can put a dent in them because um, I did tame a lot the last time but it was predominantly for egg layers because there's a couple of ways you can have them set up for egg laying you can leave them out and may boost them and have them laying eggs that way or you can use the sole terminal, sole terminal method and on which you've got to enable it on your any settings for it so you're able to generate eggs from it. Also there is a machine and here it's an egg collector. The only thing with that is, well it's not a bad thing, it's actually a really really great thing. You actually destroy your dino when you put it into it and it just carries on making eggs. And you don't need to worry about it once the dino's in there, then you can well, just produce eggs over time, which is brilliant. So we will be looking at a lot of items, a lot of crafting things, and oh, it boggles the mind. <laughs> Sometimes it boggles the mind. So yeah, we've got loads of stuff to get into. Um, the first few episodes I don't want to do, I don't want, I really don't want to do very much off camera, I'd rather keep as much on camera as possible, um, because it is, it is a progress mod basically, you've got to progress through the levels. Right, so, if I just click there now, on oh no one, if I just hit F1, on my keyboard. It's going to bring up this mem this memo thing. It's a guide. Gives you a wee welcome back, which is this bit here. Tells you how to get started. If you follow the instructions, 
Same with the progression. Early game tells you all about early game, mid mid game, and end game. I did some of these bosses. I actually fought two of the bosses, and I got a total rex and a total waver. That ah, was fantastic, but <laughs> I was worried. But yeah, it was good. So the progression guide is there. Um, right in here, we've got variants. Right, so this is the type of creatures we've got. You have groups and variants. So basically, cosmic, and then you've got another sub menu for cosmic. So these all come under cosmic. So you need cosmic kibble for all of these, but you only need like one of these. There's a female that can lay your eggs to be able to make the kibble for them all. So your choice is you don't have to go out and team every single one of them to get eggs for kibble. Which, if you want to do that, so just click through these self destruct lucky. Elementals, elementals, you get two sub categories there. Guardian, Nature, Rage, Summoner, Utility. So you've got to basically make all the kibbles for these. There's no other way. You can't just throw berries in them and throw me in them and tame them. You've got to make the kibbles. And this is where you have to actually get a farm set up pretty sharpish. Um, which isn't an easy task, but they do do dung wheels, and basically they're rideable. Basically, everything's rideable. Like, apart from the vanilla dodos and pegos and that, it's about you can even get rideable pegos. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure I you modded pegos. But yeah, right. So we will go over these a bit more. You've got bosses, you can bosses, and tells you all about them. Varying gods, unique gods, group gods, unique group gods, lucky gods, titans. Titans will spawn randomly if you put down the beacon and set it for that. Beacon bosses is basically your first lot of bosses you will eventually get to, but I would wait till you're well in your Omega Dinos before doing Beacon, beacon bosses, souls and stuff. You've got souls, you've got uh, essence. You need souls and essence to make tranks, to make uh, narcotics, and oh, loads of different things. So there is absolutely loads. Breeding. We've got the breeding set on one, I think it is, for, the, for number one. So it's the same variant, so it's got to be Supernova plus Supernova, but the same variant. So as long as they're both the same, and male and female obviously, but it can be any tier. So it can be a, a basic Supernova with an Omega Supernova, that's where I'm taking it from. I didn't actually get actually into the breeding. Um, when I was playing it, but yeah, there's, there's absolutely loads to do, so miracles, and, uh, lucky gods, look god, soul god, essence god, it's boggling, mind boggling, right, so, um, yeah, we've kind of came over, Came over here, we're hiding in Carnal Cave, eh, Castaway Cave at the moment. So, it hasn't been too much an exciting video. I'm just trying to get down basically what we're going to be doing and basically what we're using, different things like that. So, if, you, if you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Also, be notification so you don't miss an episode. We subscription is most welcome, totally appreciated. And leave me a wee comment, let me know what you think. 
and we will catch you in the next episode which we'll get a bit more progression done um, I'm not quite sure what we'll get what we'll get done but we'll get something done so we'll get something done so take care stay safe we'll catch you in the next episode